welcome to the Fat Quarter Shop live stream. Today is September 20th, 2019, and it is going to be National Sew a Jelly Roll Day tomorrow. So Moda hosts this, it's wonderful. To celebrate, we are gonna do a coupon for 20% off Jelly Rolls for three days. So your code is JR20. So if you want some Jelly Rolls, Pick them up at Fat Quarter Shop. And we're gonna do a free tutorial today. So, Jocelyn came up with this really cute pattern, High Roller Table Runner. It's free for the layout, and I'm gonna show you how you make it right now. So to celebrate the Jelly Roll Day, we're not only giving you a coupon, we're gonna do a tutorial. You can download this on our free pattern page or in the link below. And what we have is six different layout options so that you can just do what makes, do what fits your house, I guess. So the first step you're gonna do is you're gonna sew four jelly rolls together, just like this. And you can either do two sets like this, or you can do four sets for more variety. So you're gonna sew four jelly rolls together. We press them open so that the seams would be less bulky. And then I'm just gonna cut this strip in half. And then for more variety, I'm gonna set this one aside. Now you could use both sides. And then you're gonna cut eight and a half by 20 inch of a background fabric. So, we used 9900 color 98, which is one of our favorite whites, and we're just gonna place it on top. Doesn't have to be perfect, just put your background right sides together. You're gonna use our triangles on our roll, H700. Here we go. Doot, doot. I need to find my pins. And so we've got H700. You just get a roll of that and you just place it on top. So you've got your background fabric, your jelly roll strips, super easy. We're gonna go sew this, but I'm gonna stop and see if you have any questions before I keep going. Okay, let's see, we don't have let me turn my mic on. We don't have any questions at the moment, but we do have a new YouTube member, Tammy Schmidt. Welcome, Tammy. Thank Confetti you. Confetti cannon for Tammy. Yay. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine. I am going to go down to like a 1.5, 1.8 stitch length, and I'm going to stitch on the dotted lines. If you're ever using triangle paper, you definitely want to shorten your stitch length so that your paper pulls off nicely. So I'm going to go right over here, and we're just going to stitch directly on the dotted lines only. And it's a little bit hard to sew standing up, so. My stitches may not be perfect. super easy. I'm right on the, the, I sewed on the dotted lines. Do you want to zoom in? Or you can't zoom in? I can. Yeah. You can. Okay. okay. And you're going to make four of these to make the table runner option. So you're just, we just stitched directly on the dotted lines only, and we're going to cut on the solid lines. So I like to cut all the way on all four sides first. So 
So cut this is, and this is super easy. Denise made the sample for us. I'm going to give you up close of the sample in a little bit. And she was able to do the whole thing in a weekend, including quilting and binding. So this is a great weekend project, a great thing to do tomorrow to celebrate National Sew a Jelly Roll Day because you ought to sew with the jelly roll on Sew a Jelly Roll Day. So, and again, you're going to make eight, you're going to make four of those, which is going to give you a total of 16 of these. So what I like to do on my triangle paper is I first I fold it back and crease it with my finger and I just pull the paper off. So it's just going to come right off. This paper is um, a little bit bigger so it's harder to get off. We're going to get all these papers off and then we're going to press and I'm going to take the sewing machine off the table so that I can show you some layout options and how easy this is. Now, of course, you have to, you know, put your strips together, but I didn't think y'all needed me to do that on the camera. So. And I'm just kind of warning you, this iron has been acting weird all week. And it stinks right now, so I'm not sure it's going to work. So H700 is the paper we used. And we pressed open on this. You don't have to. That's just what Denise and I thought would be best. So when I press open, I actually press to one side first. And then I go back and press open. I think it... Um, I get less creases on the front when I do that, and of course it does take more time. That's one of the comments I get from you guys a lot, is sometimes the way I do things takes more time. I'm kind of uh, set in my ways, and even if something takes more time, if it gives me a better result, I'm going to do it. But of course, in your sewing room, you should do whatever you want to do. Um, it doesn't matter to me what you do. Um, I just show you my way. If you like my way, great. If you don't, that's great too. You can do whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Um, and so to save time, another thing is I clip off my little clippies, dog ears, and then I press open so I don't have to clip as many. So to press open, I like to kind of finger press and then press open. Dun, da, da, da. Sound effects. That's my Friday sound effects. Um, my husband and I were one of my kids, like, really, um, he always has sound effects. And we're just like, I had to tell him the other day, I was like, you have to, I was trying to do something, I was trying to work. And I was like, you either have to stay in here and be quiet, or you have to go in the other room. So he goes and gets in my bedroom, turns on WWE, and is so loud with his sound effects, I could hear him all the way on the other side of the house. I was like, okay, that's not exactly what I meant. But anyway, he's so funny. He loves WWE. I don't know where in the world he got that. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna move everything off of here. We can leave the iron here and I'm gonna move this off. And show you how much fun you can have tomorrow on Sew a Jelly Roll Day. Yay! So, in this little layout, we have given you five on the first page that will work with table runner size. On our second page, we have a bigger version also. So you can decide whatever, but I'm gonna show you different layouts and see how fast I can do this and how many times I can mess up, just to show you. And what we decided was, we only paid attention to the way the white fabric went. We didn't worry about the direction of these jelly roll strips. We just, that just didn't matter. So this is our first option that Jocelyn came up with. Big shout out to Jocelyn for coming up with this idea. And big shout out to Denise that's behind the camera for sewing this. Because I was in Salt Lake City with Lori. And I'm going to show pictures of that in a little bit. So 
So this is kind of one way. It looks kind of right. I think I got that right. Okay, so that's one way. Then we're gonna mix them up. Do, 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 sound effects. <laughs> you good sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm learning from my son. And then this one is gonna be a little bit harder to get on the table, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna go. And what I like about when we do designs like this is it gives you options and you can lay this out on your floor and see what you like and see what's gonna fit the table at your house. So. And you can see it doesn't take too long to lay it out. Um, I'm sure you could be faster if you weren't. If I wasn't talking, I would be faster. Um, and then you can just see, because you know, if you're working with this, this fabric, by the way, is Swell Christmas. And again, I'm using color 98. And on the binding, she used color 123. Or you could use your leftover Jelly Roll strips for your scrappy binding. So this is like another way. Hopefully I have it right. It looks halfway right. But again, I'm just we're just paying attention to the white. Whatever way these go, it didn't even matter. Okay, so there's one way. Second way. Yeah, make it as scrappy as you want is what Denise says. So she's over there talking to me. Okay, now we're gonna do the third option. This one, anytime I do pinwheels, I always get a little bit, I always turn one of them wrong. So I know that's gonna happen. Dun da da da. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. We should time me. See how fast I can do this. <laughs> I know. I'm like. Da, 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 da. Nope. This one. This one. Da, da, da. And it looks. Backwards, I got one wrong. Okay, this one goes this way. Is that right? That looks better. Yeah. yeah. So, better. Da, 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 that's the third option. So do you guys want me to show you like the other two or are y'all good? Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all want me to do. We did have a few questions. Sure, okay, how about this? You ask questions and I'll lay out the next one so okay. I don't have to make sound effects. <laughs> make <laughs> a fool of myself. Good. Okay, let's see. Oh, well the first one was, I'm gonna to you was from uh, Teresa and Gabriel pointing out that there were a few other new YouTube members that joined right before the live stream. We have Gail Clary and KM ZM. Welcome. Thank you. Confetti cannon for Shout it. out. Yes, yes. Okay. You're making my Friday better. Yes, we are so thankful for you guys. And even if you're not a YouTube member, we're still very thankful for you guys. We love all of you. Yes, um, we just do this for fun. It's yeah. fun. It's like the fun part of our week. And Wilma Evans says, why are you uh, placing in the middle instead of on the end, referring to when uh, you were putting the triangle paper on your fabric? Oh, just because it's just like, I mean, you could do it however you want. I just kind of just did whatever. We just kind of did an estimate 20 inches, but there's extra. So you could, you could really do whatever. You don't have to do it that way. That was just me cheating, but you could save time. I mean, you could save that for something else if you wanted to. And then a few people are wondering, what are those cool little yellow scissors you're using? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to tell you about these little yellow scissors and my fingers right here. <laughs> little story. These are my favorite scissors. I've been using them the entire time I've been sewing. They're OmniGrid and they're just, I call them my OmniGrid yellow scissors. I literally have pairs and pairs of them. Now they're really expensive, but you get what you pay for and they're sharp. And I have two little holes right there in my fingers because oh. I actually clipped my fingers open and um, it kind of still hurts. So warning, don't clip your fingers. Okay, so this is the next one. So do you want to scroll to that real quick, Lily? Yeah. So I think I've got that one right. I'm really liking this one. This is like a flying geese. So then, okay, now I'll do another question and I'll lay out the very last one. Yes, and everyone was saying they want to see all of the layouts. Yes, and I'm going to show all of them except the very, very big one because that one won't fit on the camera. I'm glad that y'all want to see it because I was like, I don't know if y'all even care. 
da, da, da. And then Christy Davidson was asking, does the paper just allow you to not have to draw the line from corner to corner? Basically the same concept? Yes, and it saves time. And I love triangle paper. And um, I use triangle paper whenever I can. And this paper went in one of our sew sampler boxes. And I think. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to show like different things you could do with it. So like if you didn't like what was in the sew sampler box, like if you didn't like that pattern, this is something else you can do with it. And then Annie Shaw says, do you sew the jelly roll strips in alternating directions? I do that so it doesn't get wonky. Um, no, but you can do whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we just did whatever. Like we didn't pay attention to the, to the lines. And then this one's gonna get a little bit long, so I'm gonna kinda, this one's more long and skinny. And then uh, we had a few people, uh, including Sue Klee, who said, you should have brought your kiddos to take the paper off. Oh, yeah, they're at school. <laughs> but yes, um, I worked on my patchwork pinwheels. I'm gonna show you guys next week. I made like, I think almost like 100 more. And Peyton literally for like three hours just pulled paper off. But he does like, I let him do like a little dance party in between. So he plays his little, he does little, he does whatever, what is that dance where you do that? What's that uh, called, Lily? Do it again. What's that dance? It's the floss or whatever. I don't know. Uh, this is, this no, not the floss. It's something else. He does it and then he, he, he does his little dance and he does his paper and he does his dance. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so it's let's scroll to one. this one. Let's see if I have it. I don't know if I have it right. It looks about right. There's one more row. Nope. Yeah, there's one more row right here that you can't see. So there you go. That's our free high roller table runner. All you need is a jelly roll, some background fabric. Y'all probably all have that at home. And we used H700 triangle paper because it was easy to use. And then this is our second version. This one, you actually need 32 blocks. And then we used four white squares. So if you wanted to make something bigger, this one is 42 inches square. So that's what we have for Jelly Roll Day. Yay. And don't forget, all the Jelly Rolls at Fat Quarter Shop, 20% off with the code JR2020. JR20. And I'm going to show you how pretty it is up close. So, yeah, so this is the table runner. And so she just she used she quilted using 50 weight i think it's color 2024 and she quilted about an inch and a half apart so when she was when denise was working on this she kind of looked and like one inch was too small two inch was too big so one and a half inches worked and she was able to do all of this um, on a weekend so super easy and i'm going to just show you her back how pretty it is so yeah you like the back so um, we hope that you guys have fun and like do the jelly roll day. So we've got that and I'm going to show you two other jelly rolls that we did. So our very first video ever has our most views. It's called Jelly Roll Jam. It's how we all got started. It was great learning experience. It's still our number one video. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to show you how you can take a jelly roll and make two quilts. So. Um, we, we picked a jelly roll that had two distinct colorways, like Harper's Garden would work. And this is Harper's Garden. And Angel made these, so big shout out to Angel. So they're, ooh, look, I got it to all fit. Yay. Check me out. <laughs> so this is Jelly Roll Jam, and so this is the first half of the jelly roll. Free video, free pattern at Fat Corner Shop. And then this is her other colorway. Get it. Yay, I got it to fit, right? Yeah, so pretty. Yes, so you can make two quilts or you could combine all of this into one bigger quilt. And then Lily's gonna scroll through and we're gonna show you all of the Jelly Roll quilts that we've done for free. These are all free patterns, they're all on our YouTube channel. We would love for you to subscribe. So our very first one was the Jelly Roll Jam, which you see here most popular one our second free pattern is jelly roll jam 2 i love that one and then jelly roll slice i love that one jelly roll ripples i've made that one go lily jelly roll railway 
Jelly Roll Twist. And there are all six of our Jelly Roll patterns. So to celebrate Jelly Roll Day, we are giving you coupon. All these free patterns, you'd shout out to Jocelyn who designed all of them. I might have done Jelly Roll Jam, but I don't really remember, but Jocelyn does most of everything. Also shout out to our Jelly Roll Jam video. It is our first, first video to reach 2 million views. Oh, really? It reached it like either last week or the week before. So Yay! confetti cannon for Jelly Roll Jam. So let me know any questions you guys have over that pattern so that I can do that real quick before I move on. Um, Anna Blake was asking, this was when you were ironing, she said, when do you spray starch? So on this one, you could spray starch. Um, if you were gonna spray starch this because you've got enough room to give because of the jelly rolls bigger, I would spray starch in the beginning. The general rule of thumb is to not spray starch things like jelly rolls, layer cakes, charm packs, mini charm packs. But on this pattern, it will work. I would just do it before you started even piecing. I would just, I have a video that I show. I just basically douse it with, is that the word? Yeah. Saturate it, just saturate. All starch. And then I just lay it out on these like um, PVC pipes or shower. I have a whole setup. And then I just let it dry and then start stitching. But in general, you wouldn't take a normal jelly roll and most patterns it wouldn't work with that. Okay, and then we did have a few people asking, where do I get all these patterns you're talking about? So you can get them in the links below. We are gonna have a blog post that is gonna go up today, linking to all the videos. You can go to our jelly roll shortcut. What are those things called on the videos? Playlist. The playlist, yeah, we just have a go playlist. To, yeah, just go, to our, just go to our YouTube channel. Everything's gonna be on the blog. Mm -hmm. And the code again for 20% off is JR20. Yes. And the YouTube channel name is Fat Quarter Shop. And I want you to subscribe and click the little bell. Ooh, wait, 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 I got a, I got a graphic. Subscribe, yay. Yay. Okay, uh, and then other questions we had. Um, oh, this was from Vera Fichera. Do you have a distributor in Australia for triangle paper? Hello from Australia. We distribute to anybody who is a distributor. So if they want to contact us, that would be great. Right now, we are not, we don't have a distributor for that in Australia, but um, you can contact us. We sell through Checker, United Notions, Brewer, mm -hmm. E.E. E. Shank, all of the things. And Karen Sharp was asking, what is a good basic white background fabric to use? 97 or 98. Mm -hmm. 98 is wider. Is a pure white, 97 is a little bit off, and 200. I actually use color 200 the most, but the reason um, most people use 98 or 97, I just go to 200 more, um, but any of those would work. Kind of depends, you know, do you want bright white? Do you want subtle? Do you want, you know, kind of depends on your style, but I like color 200 the best. Okay. And Francie Stitches, that is a great name, uh, what is the finish size of the two quilts? the Jelly Roll Jam ones, I believe. Oh, I think it's 36 and a half by 36 and a half. And you are correct. Ooh, and hey. I'm right. Woo! Woo! Okay, and uh, Mary Cunahan says, why not starch Jelly Rolls? Because they're gonna shrink. And so if you're gonna do a Jelly Roll pattern and you need the full two and a half inches, and it shrinks to two and a quarter, you're not gonna be able to get your pattern to work. So anytime you starch, especially that heavily, everything is going to shrink, so. Okay, and Caroline Yoneta says, is the shorter stitch length on the triangle paper so you can tear it easily? Yes, and it's so you can tear it easily, but it's also so your stitches don't come out because you're putting stress on them by pulling the paper off of it. Um, so yeah, it's for both of those reasons. Okay, we're getting a few more questions. I'm just adding them to the queue here real quick. Okay, um, Nancy Martin says, what is the pattern for triangles on a roll braid? I guess the braided looking pattern, I'm not sure. There's a jelly roll braid pattern, I don't. It might be that one? I don't know, we'll have to, somebody will answer you in the comments because off the top of my head, I don't know. Okay. And then Teresa was asking, um, where is color 200 in the white spectrum? Is it bright white or a bit more ivory or some other color? It's silvery white. Oh. And it goes with, I'm going to show it to you in a little bit. It goes, actually I'm not. It goes, I'm going to show you something else. Okay, it goes with Coriolis, 
fabrics, Sherry, Sherry and Chelsea, and Thimble Blossoms. That's what I use. And I use it with Lori Holt's fabric too. But it's, it's more of a silvery white, less creamy, more bluish. Okay, and from Lay McDonald, uh, when the edges of the fabric are pinked, is it two and a half inches to the outer points or inner points? Outer points. And they're meant for you to just put that pink on the edge of your sewing foot. You just kind of have to get used to it. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, if you're using a pre-cut for the first time, you could always do test your quarter inch, kind of get used to it before you do your whole project and your seams are off. That's what I love about this pattern that Jocelyn came up with is because of the triangle paper, you can just sew, like your, your, um, your first step, which is sewing all your strips together, it doesn't have to be all perfect because um, you're gonna trim it down and it's not gonna matter. Okay. And then, is this pattern easy to complete in one day, needing a quick gift for a trip yes. visiting family? So Denise started it and finished the whole thing in one day. That includes binding it. She did machine binding. So she did the whole thing in one Saturday. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our 2020 charity quilt. I am going to show you, we now have our Make-A-Wish link up and I'm gonna give a big shout out to Rafael who gave $200. I hope that I got your name right. And to the $5 to the guy anonymous. Yes, thank yes. you. So we have $205. Confetti cannon, thank you guys. And so um, you guys have been asking um, when we're gonna release the fabric requirements and we usually do that in January and I have decided because we need to raise more money this year that once we get to $3,000, we will release the pattern. Not the pattern, not the pattern, I said that wrong. Fabric requirements, so sorry. So if you want the fabric requirements early, once we get to 3,000, we're gonna do that. If not, we're just gonna do it in January. So we are gonna, I'm gonna get to show you some little things that we didn't have before. So if you purchase our backing set, you will get your pattern, full color. So you get your pattern early because the pattern doesn't come out until the summer. You get all your fabric. Now this is just a prototype. You get your little, these are the fabrics for the numbers, the little, these are for the numbers. And you get a little mouse pad. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, so we just got this in, so you get to see the mouse pad. I Maybe, haven't seen it before. It's you so haven't? Cool. Maybe that's going to go to my office. I was so excited about the mouse pad. Yes, so that's the that's your little freebie. I'll put it here. And then this is the prototype of our box. So it like has a magnetic thing. So it like, anyway. Magnetic quote. Do, 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 do. We have a quote. We have Jocelyn's little note. And we have a... Sorry, can you flip the box so we can see the quote? I did. No, the other one. Sorry. Oh, sorry. oh, 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 I'm like, okay, My sorry. Bad. Where flowers bloom, so does hope, Lady Bird Johnson. So Lady Bird Johnson is um, from Texas. My grandfather actually grew up with um, and went to school with Lady Bird and the president and knew him. Um, we're not going to get political here, but I'm just going to say that they are from Texas and um, that's my story. Here's the kit. In the kit, you would get the full pattern. It's pink on the side just for me. It was going to be aqua, but I was like, can it please be pink for me? So there you go. There's this. And then we have put in a roll of triangle paper that will help in some of the blocks. And here's all this gigantic fabric. And it goes, ta-da! So cute. So Jocelyn did all of this for us, but I'm gonna show you the quilt. I'm gonna just kinda, I've already shown it before, but um, it's really heavy. Let's see. This is the back, so you can see like the, it's so pretty, right? Yes. And that, so I made this, I'm so proud of it. And I'm gonna show you the top and then I'll show you the bottom. Da -da -da -da. Sound effects. <laughs> We need like a whole like sound effects board where we just record Kimberly and all her oh. sound effects. <laughs> and then this is like the middle. It's <laughs> we, so heavy, it's so big. We need to get Skylar in here to do your oh, like quilt yes. modeling. It's so, and there's the bottom. So there's my charity quilt. And the fabric is Sweet Summer by Sherry and Chelsea. All the money we're raising goes directly to Make-A-Wish 
The way that it works is we have you guys donate directly to Make-A-Wish. The money never comes to us. And then at the end of the year or beginning of the year, whichever, Kevin and I write a check for $10,000 to Make-A-Wish. Mark Dunn from Moda Fabrics writes a check for $10,000 to Make-A-Wish. And we're trying to raise $50,000. So um, there you go. That's my charity quilt and ask me any questions about that before I go on. Cause sometimes if I get to the questions later, I get confused. So, um, let's see, Susan McCallan was asking, is there a template for the numbers or a pattern? It's a pattern. Okay. It's yeah. a free pattern. It's going to be on our website next summer. Um, and it's, we're going to ask basically the way the charity works is we ask for a donation of $5 for every pattern you download. But of course, if all you can give us $5, just like guy anonymous gave $5, we're good with that. Whatever you can afford, whatever you can do. It's great. And then a uh, sweet comment from Sally Nagel. She said, by the way, love the way y'all package everything. When I order, I've ordered fabric from other internet shops and they never compare to fat quarter shop. Thank you. So. We work really hard on that. And I will tell you that the genius behind a lot of that is Kevin Jolly. He is my partner in crime. The one thing Kevin is known for is it better be packaged correct. And he doesn't like a lot of tape. So if he goes in, he goes out there and he starts seeing stuff, he'll, they know. He'll be like, oh, well, I think we need to repackage. And the rule that we used years and years and years ago was it doesn't matter who packages the package. Every time somebody gets a package from Fat Quarter Shop, it should look like the same employee did it every time mm -hmm. so that it's consistent. And also so that if you can store it in your stash, you can just stack it all up. It all goes less time for you guys when you get it. And we take a lot of pride in that. Okay, number one question in the comments right now. How do I get this kit? How do I get the box? Where do I pre-order? Okay, so for the kit, there's a link to it. It's called Bloomtopia. There's a kit, there's a backing set. It will ship to you in January. Inside it would be the pattern for the full kit and a pattern for the backing. If you want to sew with your own fabric, fabric requirements will be given out once we reach $3,000 with Make-A-Wish. And um, also, Kevin has decided that if we get to 50000 he will do a live stream. Um, I don't know. He's very nervous. Um, <laughs> but we've only got to $205, so we got a long way to go. Um, but if you want to sew this in your own fabric and still donate to the charity, that's great. Um, sometimes people ask, is it the money that goes from the kit? We do not make $10,000 off the sale of these kits. That money just comes from Kevin and I. It's just what we can afford. You know, one year we hope we can give 20000 It's just what Kevin and I can personally afford, and that's what we can afford. If we could afford 50000 we would give 50000 We would give whatever we can do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you don't order the kit, do you get the patterns as you go? How you get the work? patterns. They will release on our website on the 1st and the 15th or something like that. 1st mm -hmm. and 15th. 1st and 15th of the month starting in February 2020. Mm -hmm. It ends in June of 2020 and you can use your own fabric. But like I said, is we're going to release the fabric requirements in January. But if we get to $3,000 before January, they will go up. Mm -hmm. We already have everything ready to go. I mean, I've sewn the quilt. Obviously, the pattern is in proofing. Um, fabric requirements are final. So as soon as we get that $3,000, hit a couple buttons and it'll go up. Yes. And the patterns are going to be free when they yes. release. And so that's the deal is if you get the kit, you get the pattern early. But we give the pattern free. A ton of people make it in their own fabrics. Do not feel like you have to buy a kit. This is all about charity for us. And we're going to do um, this. And we also are going to be doing a cross stitch um, along same thing to raise more money and if you have not subscribed to my floss tube channel it is fat quarter shop floss tube and i do lives there on wednesday also they're all about cross stitch but they do have some of my funny stories yeah um, they do. um okay so we do have a lot of questions okay um you might have just answered this but a few people are wondering when the charity cross stitch will be revealed or did they miss it I have revealed it. It is uh, not this week, but last week it was revealed. The pattern will come out on the same dates as all of the quilting. Mm -hmm. So next year, um, and it will be free. We will have floss packs. We will have a little baggie. We will have a little charm. We will have um, needle minder. We have all kinds of things planned. Um, and as soon as I have prototypes, just like this, this is considered a prototype. It's not the real thing. It's like the mock-up. Once we have it and we've approved it, 
because this is not like this is like been approved like we've gone through three or four rounds before we got to it once it's final i'll show that but i will only show that on my floss tube channel because um some of you guys don't like to see both on one so that's why we have them separate um but i did show it last week and um priscilla of the real housewives of cross stitch is going to finish it for me and then i will show it again once i get it back mm -hmm. and there's i believe that is floss tube number 41 for those of you wondering thank you um okay and terry lynn said confetti can for kevin for everything awesome packaging too yes um okay and then he doesn't watch i'll have to tell him <laughs> there's a confetti cannon at 9 37. yes he can go back and watch okay and then we also have a new youtube member yvette renee welcome yvette hey renee thank you welcome welcome yvette thank you you're awesome and um dj swan says i pre-ordered the the quilt and backing kits will any of that money go to make a wish or do i still need to make a donation Yes, so we're asking that you'd make a donation for the pattern separately. Um, but basically, everyone always asks, is the kit sales go to the charity? I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Like, we don't make $10,000 for making this. We just come up with the number that we can afford. So Kevin and I have decided that from the money we have, $10,000 is what we can do. And then we're, we're giving you, as a bonus for getting the kit, the pattern early. But we would love for you to donate directly to Make-A-Wish for the pattern. We're just giving it to you like as a bonus early. Okay, we also have another new YouTube member, Dot Dot Goose Design. Yay! Welcome Dot Dot Goose. Okay, so she made me some bags and I'm gonna show them next week um, and my floss tube channel. I left them, I was, I left them um, by the back door. I was gonna show them and I left them by the back door. Also, it's so awesome cause like, like sometimes we watch y'all's YouTube channels like Dot Dot Goose yes. and Yvette. Yes. So it's like awesome to have you guys here. Yes. Um, and then we got a super chat from Stacey Fallon for $1.99. She says, thanks for all you do. So confetti cannon for Stacey Fallon. Yay, thank we, you. In the coming weeks, we'll have something slightly different for super chat coming yes. up as a graphic. It's going to have a little piggy. <laughs> little piggy. Okay. Little piggy is my doggy who's in trouble. Okay, y'all want to hear a funny story? It's not really funny, it's kind of gross. So he has to get his shots, he's a pug, and pugs do not like their nails cut, they don't like shots, they don't like any of that stuff, they freak out. So I had to give him pills this morning so that he, cause he will not, um, he will not be calm enough, like even if I'm in the room. So he threw up twice in my car and pooped all over my car this morning. So I got to the bed and I was like, um, there, we kind of have like, a, you know, I'm like, that's, I got to get some stuff. Do you have any like wet, wet, wet nap? Like, you know, and they're like, well, you need to put him in the room. And I'm like, um, can I just keep him with me because I need to clean up the poop? And the lady was like looking at me and I'm like, she's like, well, you need to do your appointment. I'm like, I'm not going to leave that in my car. Like I got to clean it up. I was kind of about to lose my mind, but anyway, it's all good. He's just getting his like normal shots. But I was like, piggy, really? Like, really? Poor thing. That's my funny story. That's how I started my day off, guys. Like, hello. <laughs> At least nobody else was in the car with me, especially Kevin. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Tammy Schmidt says, does the payment come out when it ships or when we order for the... So kit? when you order now, you just pay your reservation fee. Then as soon as the kits arrive, I mean, we get... Oh, and there's also another thing in the kit. There's like a notion in there, but it's not finalized, so I didn't want to show you. Um it will the day that it all comes in we have it all packed we're gonna ship it and bill it that day and it's not like a set day it's just whenever it all comes should be in january um and okay sally nagel said tell kevin jolly if he does a live stream he will achieve rock star status from fqs fans he will be so like i don't even know how he's gonna be able to do it <laughs> he is the quietest <laughs> He does not talk very much, like at all. He, and he doesn't even text. Me and Emma get texts now because we're doing a family fantasy football. And so now every Thursday we get a text once a week and it says, a game start tonight, set your lineup. That's the one text we get all week. And we're like, okay, we don't even know how to set our lineup at all. And I'm losing, I've lost two games. And Christopher actually told me this week, I'm gonna put my bad players because I feel bad you haven't lost that you haven't won yet. And I'm like, no, don't play your bad players. Play your good players. Beat me, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> okay, and then Bonita Nan says, how did you decide which charities to support? Thanks. So we have done Make-A-Wish, we have done St. Jude's, and we have done... It, let me think March of it. March of Dimes? March of Dimes. 
Um, and we just decided that I had the most, I felt like Make-A-Wish was the best because Kevin and I could actually see the impact of what we're doing. It's local. We get to meet the kids. We've met like four so far. We actually get to see the impact we're doing. We're not just writing a check. It also, you know, we believe in like, like doing all this stuff. Like sometimes we get to bring our kids. Our kids need to see this. We go to the food bank. Kids need to see that you don't just like get money and just spend it. Like you gotta make a difference in this world somehow. So that is the way that we think we can raise our kids the best by showing them that when you get out in the world, you gotta do something to make a difference, whatever it is. Like Kevin and I, we can afford $10,000. Like if we could afford more, we would do more. But whatever you can afford, even if you can do like, the thing with the food bank is you can just go, you just donate your time. Whatever you can do is what you gotta do. So we pick the charity because we like it, we have kids. Kevin and I are very blessed. We have four children. We don't have any health issues. We don't have to live with a child that has cancer or all the things that kids have to do. I mean, we have four kids, like the likelihood of us having something wrong with them is like we have four, we have a higher chance. Like we're lucky. Like if we're this lucky, hello, we need to help somebody else who isn't. Like you gotta make a difference. And we just, Kevin and I love kids. Like, so we just, that's what we pick. That's what we like. And, um, that's what we do. Okay. And super chat from Peach for $2 saying a treat for Piggy. And she put a little heart. Oh, Piggy. I know. And I told them, I said, I'm going to come pick him up at 12. They go, well, he's, I don't know if he's going to be ready. And I was like, well, I'll sit and wait. Because so, he's you, so Peach. scared. Um, he's so scared, little Piggy. Okay. And we can, we, I am seeing a lot more questions, um, but I will make sure to bring them up later in the live okay. stream. Okay. So. Next, I just wanted to remind you guys, we're having the eight carat quilt along. It uses our triangles on our roll book. And this is my quilt. And I gotta show it off, cause it's my quilt. Woo. Woo hoo. Hey, we can see it all. You can? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cause I can't see the screen. So um, it uses two different sizes of triangle papers. It uses three inch and four inch. And so there were some questions in Kimberly Stitch Squad. Kimberly Stitch Squad is my Facebook group. So if you want to do this, sew along. All you need is the book and three inch and four inch triangle paper and two fat eights, two fat quarters, five fat eights, some background binding and backing. And it's all on our blog. A little sew along. Mm. So that's something I've been working on. And then, okay. So Corey Yoder and Sherry McConnell are going to do a, a stitch along with their book, Sunday Best Quilts. It's a brand new book. And when Corey came to film with us, she showed us her quilt that she had made up and I fell in love with it. And I wanted to um, copy. So I did. <laughs> so um, I used a combination of Corey's groups. I used like Sugar Creek, her new one. Um, canning day i just used a bunch of old ones and then the two can you look up the two fabrics i used for here it's in the document so i cheated and they gave me the pdf to get advanced to start so i'm going to show you my blocks so um it took me only one weekend to do or maybe two weekends it was not long so here's one of my blocks and i just mixed all their collections and i really didn't have to buy very much because i had a lot of it in my stash some of it is left over from other stuff. This is my favorite. And so if you want to cheat, there's another girl cheating um, in our Facebook group. If you want to cheat, all you have to do is figure out the blocks they're using, start there, and then they're going to give you what you need to add to the size to get them to the all the same size. I think these are 18 inches. And I think I used 29067 color 41 and uh, Denise is looking up the other one. For my background, it is a previous skew. Use Sugar Creek, Strawberry Jam, Candy Day, and Sunny Side Up. Okay, so I use Sugar Creek, Sugar Creek Strawberry, Jam, Strawberry Jam, Canning Day, Canning Day Sunny, Side up. Sunny Side Up, and then my two backgrounds are 29067, 41 and, 43. 41 and 33. So one of them is this white. It's a white on white. And one of them is the little gray in the little points. 
It does look good. This took eight hours. Don't even tell me. <laughs> Don't even tell me. This yeah. this is the this is the one that like um I got a little frustrated. But I did do it all quick. It really didn't take me eight hours, but it was not. Okay, this is the worst one though. My points. Don't look at my points. That was amazing. <laughs> and this one I had to I had to get fat quarters. So I was I just kind of pulled, I had some, just had random stuff and I put it all together. But yes, and this one I really like because it's kind of calm and soothing. It's so pretty. I'm so, so anyway, I'm so proud of myself. So I'm going to try to put this together in a couple of weeks. This one was a little challenging. I did all my points, all my seams open. And then I really like this one. And so I just wanted to support those guys. Um, they have a wonderful book. I think it's an amazing book. Um, I always like to sew along with people in the community. Um, and I am so honored that they gave me the PDF early so I could get, you know, because I want to promote them. I want to promote them as much as I can. Um, I had a lot of fun making the blogs. Um, I, it, was, it was fun because everything is different. There's like easy blocks, hard blocks, super hard blocks, super easy blocks. Um, and the way that I work is I try to, well, I have to starch everything. So first I pick on my fabrics and Emma actually helped me on come, some of them coming up with some of the fabrics. Um, <coughs> I kind of figure out what, um, what I think will look good and then I starch it. And then I come back and I kind of divide it in my bathroom by what order I'm gonna go in. And then when, once those are dry, I cut them and then I pick my next one. So I'm kind of working on a bunch at one time. But I really liked just the variety that some was easy, some was hard, and that it changed throughout. Because sometimes if you work on a quilt that's the same block over and over, you can get bored. That's how I was able to do it so quick. So I just wanted to show you guys um, that if you have any questions on their sew along, go to their blogs. Cory Yoder is Coriander Quilts, C-O-R-I-A-N-D-E-R. -E and then Sherry McConnell, that's her, her blog. Um, a quilting life so just go to their blogs they have all the details it's their sew along it's not mine we have the book at fat quarter shop um i use 29067 33 and 41 and then just scraps of all of um i wanted to make it where i didn't reuse any of the fabrics and any of the blocks and i didn't have enough but um i had a lot of fun doing that so let me know if you have any questions on that and then I'm gonna move on to like my next stuff because I still have more. Okay. Uh, number one question is, how do you find the time to do all that sewing? I just do, I don't know, I just do. I wake up real early, I don't know. I'm really fast though, when I sew I'm really fast. I just go. And Alma Rath says, what happens to all the quilts that Kimberly makes for a fat quarter shop? They sit in cabinets, here or at home. Um, Sometimes we display them. Yeah, sometimes they're on the walls. Um, sometimes there's a couple, like if my kids really like them, they can just like, they'll have them and whatever. Um, I have a lot of quilts though, a lot. Um, I, a couple years ago, I sold a bunch on on eBay because I was like, I don't have any room. Um, so I sold a ton of quilts on eBay. I might have to do that again. But yeah, <laughs> I sew um, more for fun, not really for the quilts. I know that sounds crazy, but I just sew because I think it's fun. Okay, and then from Maria Migdalia Felger Ramos, she says, Hi, my little granddaughter loves watching. Uh, she loves watching you. It's her birthday today, and she would love if you would wish her a happy birthday. Her name is London Rose. Happy birthday, Lyndon Rose. London Rose. London Rose. Okay, wait. Let's start over. <laughs> happy birthday, London Rose. I love that name. London. That's right. a good name. It's a beautiful name. So happy birthday. Um, and then lots of people were wondering about um, your starch situation, if there are any updates. And we can just either tackle that right now or tackle it later in the live stream. Um, so what I've decided is I think I'm going to go. So basically, for anybody who doesn't know, Faultless. I might have some here. Yeah. Right here. Here we go. <laughs> I didn't even know you were gonna ask. We just always have it on set. Okay, so I'll try to explain this. And I'm not associated with this company in any way. This is what they had for years and years. I loved it, loved it, loved it. I used it, I never had any problems. I loved it. I didn't know they were discontinuing it. So then I go to the store one day and there's this. 
This has now replaced this. So this is what I used to use, and now these are the options. I mean, there's a couple more options. I'm gonna tell you, okay, this one right here, the original, it's, okay, these, I'm gonna give you the pluses and the minuses. The pluses is it dries really fast, really fast, and it's very similar to this. The minuses is it smells like roses or flowers, and so what, the amount of starch that I use, my room just is very florally. Um, I'm not much of a scent person, so that would be my downfall, but I, I use this one. And then this is my firm, heavy starch. This doesn't dry as fast, but it is firm. So I just, I'm just gonna, I have it run out. I have both. I'm just gonna use them, and then I don't know which one I'm gonna settle on. I'm kind of just using whatever. Um, I don't wanna go back to the store and buy any more, but I miss this little guy right here. So yeah, um, I um, Gina Tell, who is, Thread Graffiti, who does um, some of our long arm quilting, she got me some Stay Flow, and I just haven't, I've been too lazy to like put it in the bottle to do it, but I need to. Elaine Wilson says, how did Kimberly like the magic pins, the ones with the silicone ends on them? I know she mentioned that she was going to give them a try. The, uh, the Taylor Seal magic pins. Oh, yes, those. I like them. I um, use them, and I did a review on them. So I am using still my regular pins for pinning, but when I do a border, those Taylor Seville Magic Pins are wonderful because they don't fling off. And I am one of those people who pins everything, like if it's a border. And so I found that when you do borders or, or you know, anything like that, it's awesome because they don't just – because I'll step on them they stay in place. So anytime I'm doing something really big, I'm using them. So I did really like them. And I do on pins, I use 0.5 milliliter or millimeter or millimeter. whatever. Millimeter. I like 0.5. Any like 0.55? No. 0.6? No. Too big. Okay. Wilma Evans says, what is the name of the book again? Thank you. Sunday Best. So they just picked 12. Yeah, it's 12, right? 12 patterns from in here. And then they're going to have a finishing, and the finishing will be free, but of course you need this to sew along. And then Gabriel Fuentes says, what about Stay Flow? I haven't tried it yet. So uh, Gina bought it for me, and I haven't tried it yet. Um, I've just been too lazy to, like, pour it. Um, Kate has used it at work, and I've seen it, and I don't, like, I don't know. I, like, don't love it. Like, I feel like it leaves it a little wrinkly, so I'm a little bit scared to use it, but I am going to try it. I don't think I'm going to try it this weekend because I have a ton. I don't even know if I'm going to be home at all this weekend. Um, I'm going to basically be a taxi. I'm going to get a sign. This is what I want to do. My dream is to get this magnet that says, The Jolly Taxi, and put it on there and embarrass my kids. It would be so <laughs> awesome. Kevin and I would totally put it on there just to embarrass the poop out of them. But no, I mean, it's just like, I'm just like a taxi. It's like, yeah, I'm just a taxi. Okay, we do have more questions, um, okay. but I'm going to save those for later. Okay. What's next? Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing next week. So this is, Lori made this, Lori Holt. This is her new Granny Chic collection. Yes, it's a table runner. She put one of her 108-inch wide backs on the back. And when I was in Utah with her, which I'm going to show you some pictures next, she did a class on this, and it's totally different than what I thought it was. So I'm going to show you a tutorial next week on how to make this table runner. All you need is the crazy paper. It's been selling like crazy, by the way. It's crazy paper that's selling like crazy, so I hope we have enough to last the next week. And then she used a layer cake, and then this eight and a half inch square ruler. So to make the entire front, that's all you need. So I went ahead and just showed you what you're going to need so that if you want to follow along with me next week, you can. Um, and Lori made this table runner. So I'm just giving you a heads up. This is what I'm doing next week. It's super long. Like, can you go to the front? Yeah, sorry. So like, see how long it is? So um, super easy. And then... Um, there was, there's a lady, I um, can't think of her name right now, she works at Riley Blake, and she's a beginner, she's never really sewn before, and she made a sample of this, and she was able to do it. So if you're a beginner, this is great. It's totally different. Um, 
it, than what I thought it was, and it's amazing. So if, if you do a six by seven inch quilt block setting, it makes a 48 by 56 inch quilt, or you can do it this way, which is three by, three by 11, and that gets you a table runner. And so the paper, what's great about the paper is it has the number of pieces you would need for an entire layer cake. And I also like uh, what she did on hers that is gonna be different than the layer cake is she pulled, she has three 108 inch fabrics that go with this collection and she cut a little piece from them, like a layer cake size from that to add it in so that she had a little bit more whites and then the red is somewhere. So that was just something, you know, me and Lori, we like to do things different. We like to add, add a little something, something. So there's that. So now I'm gonna show you all my little pictures from, from last week. So last week I went to Festival of Quilts. It was hosted by Riley Blake. It was awesome, it was amazing, it was beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna show you some pictures. So this is in her first class, this is Lori Holt, and she was just teaching about how to work with small pieces, and these are some of her doll quilts from the Farm Girl Vintage 2 book. And then this is one of her lovely students, she was super cute, and what I loved about her is she asked me how Piggy was. And then I texted Kevin and said, the first question I got was about Piggy. He didn't answer my text. And then the next, this is Annette, so Annette takes most of Lori's um, classes, anytime Lori has a class, she lives in Utah, she takes the class. So I've met her before. And then she's awesome. Her little story was she, her husband calls us quarter fats. So anytime she gets a box, she call, she, he says, you got a quarter fats. And there's Lori. Okay, so this is in front of the table runner that's right here that I'm gonna show you next week. And this is just how the blocks look. Basically, you make the blocks and the beauty of it is you trim it down with this eight and a half inch square ruler so all your blocks come out perfectly. So those are some of her blocks. And then this is Chris Scheel. She is awesome and her kids made me this little, um, she is a teacher and her kids made me this cute little pin cushion. It's cross stitched, I don't know if you can see it, but it's cross stitched. And so um, she told them that I liked pink and aqua so they made it, it's so cute. And she's in the stitch squad and then um, she didn't take a class and I don't remember her name she just came in to take a picture and then left but she was super lovely and there's Chris again okay there's the pincushion so you can see the pincushion and then this is Matt this is Christopher <laughs> sorry um, and he was there he was teaching some of his paper piecing stuff and then um, the only sad thing was he was like on a different floor than we were so we didn't really get to see him very much and then this is like some of the quilts um, that were hanging outside they had them hanging outside in tents all over the place and I wrote yeah and so that's like from the room where we were where she taught and those are some quilts within the tents and those are some of the gardens and this is, we did a little trunk show. And so these are some pictures of us doing the trunk show. And there is Lori. She's got on her sunglasses and her blue denim shirt. And that's one of the quilts from Farm Girl Vintage 2. So we did a trunk show where we showed every single quilt from Farm Girl Vintage 2. And then she signed books. And then this is um, two chicks in a tool belt and this is their paint booth. And so what they did is really cool. They had, those are like mason jars or something and they painted all of them so that if you wanted to see how her paint looked and then that table on the right, they were like waxing it. I didn't really understand what they were doing because I don't know anything about paint, but um, it was really cool. Cause you could see, I just really liked that. So I wanted to show it. And then this is a sneak peek, Lori said I could post of, this is half of her sewing room. So her daughter got married about a month and a half ago and she moved all of her stuff from the bottom floor to the top floor, which is two floors above. Um, and so the way that she did it is those are two dressers that she bought. So on the left you see a dresser and then you see a spool. There's another dresser on the other side. 
And then she had, um, she just went to Home Depot and told them the size she wanted, and they just cut her like a top. Her husband picked it up, put the top on it. And then on the left is like kind of hidden where you can see her little um, book holder. She has her sewing machine hidden over there. Yep. Yay. So that was my time. And, um, and now we have some extra special shout outs. And I have some other stuff. Okay. So this is a big deal, guys. Jill Stanley. Oh, no, Jill Stanley. She made this quilt for us to donate. So we are selling this on eBay. There's a link below, and all the money goes directly to Make-A-Wish. We never see the money. And this is how we can get to 3,000, guys. So, yes. So this is our patchwork quilt from 2017, which is our charity quilt bin, and her name is Jill Stanel. So tell me how amazing this is. You can see it all, right? Yeah. Yes. And then the back is the same as the border, and it's quilted, and she has washed it, so it's already pre-washed. It's beautiful, guys. And so I just can't even, like, I'm, I can't even believe it. it just showed up and I was just like, oh my goodness, this is so awesome. And so all the money goes to make a wish. So I'm hoping you guys bid on this so that you can have this lovely quilt by Jill. Because let me tell you, it takes the village people. And so, you know, we're trying to raise more money for make a wish. And so we're doing cross stitch and all this kind of stuff helps. So I hope you guys bid, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And then I have um, some other new stuff to show you. Also, I just want to give a quick confetti cannon for Jill for doing that. That's so generous of you. Yes. We have some new enamel pins that I thought were super cute. Look at that. Yeah. It's so cute. My face is in there instead. Sorry. My face. There you go. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're good. And then we have some new Tringles on a Roll sizes. So, yeah, we have two and a quarter, one and three quarters, and five and a half. So we're going to be adding sizes so that when we do, because what we have found is in some of our books, you guys want a triangle paper for every single thing. So we're trying to have more sizes so that when we do our books in the future, we can have more to be able to answer your questions correctly. And then I'm going to do shout outs. I got some more shout outs to do or did we do them all lily uh, oh no we didn't out. do oh yeah we yeah. do have a shout out sorry okay so i had these pictures that you sent me during the week okay awesome so these are okay let me tell you about billy i don't know her but she's amazing because we figured out what she did was she's obviously not a beginner this is a mini quilt so we sat and did the math and i think those blocks finish at three inches and i think we came up with the sashing at like seven eighths or one and three eighths or something but she made it twice she made it in miniature and big and that's awesome and then, I have... Wait. And no, then sorry oops. there we go christy marie chris christy mc Kendry Marie, we're a little behind in posting Les Lexi's last two blogs, but she's doing amazing. I can't even tell you how much you have done for her confidence. Seeing your likes and comments has fueled her in ways I never anticipated, and I can't thank you all. She is the cutest little thing ever, and mm -hmm. it's cool. So what she has is she has her blocks on design board, so she is... Oh. Yeah, they're on design board, so there's like... Because I couldn't figure it out at first, yeah. but she has one on the top and one on the bottom. Okay, and then I also have beginner series and eight carat shout outs. Perfect. So beginner series, right there. So this is Mary Stewart. I'm so happy with my ultimate beginner quilt block six. My points are all matched up and it's the right size. And those are cute little, cute little things. I don't know I what they, they were. were shells. Shells, okay, that's the word. Okay, this, she's doing two versions. This is Monica Peterson and she's got uh, my blue block and my mystery and my stash block from Mystery 2017. So that's awesome. She made two. And then this is Nancy Leopard, and she's got a lot of lights. So that's pretty awesome. Also, all of these are uh, block six from our Ultimate Beginner Quilt Series. Yes, and so our Ultimate Beginner Quilt Series is, um, you can see it right behind me. See right there? That's wow. the quilt. And uh, it is a free pattern and free sew along. And so we have beginners and advanced people sewing along. This one is Patty 
Gorman, and I think she's using Kim Deal fabric. Mm -hmm. And this is Sidra Shapiro Bosch's. And so she's also making two, and I really like how on the bottom you can see both of her quilts. And so we just designed it in solids, and we love how everyone is like stepping outside the box and like totally doing their own thing, because she's got batiks and solids. And then this is SK Jackson Tum. Mm -hmm. Number six in the beginner quilt project this week is so much better than last week. I'm going to replace last week's blocks with one at the end of whatever, with whatever fabric I have left and my favorite block. Oh, and this one, I wonder what fabric this is. This is like maybe Robert Kaufman. It's B Doctor. Oh, the fabric is Lily and Loom Little B by Blueprint. And then Brenda Jo 70. I added in a couple of new fabrics just to change up the patterns. I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. And then block six, this is Desiree R Rivera. Nice relaxing block after last week. So I think last week must've been a challenge. And then we've got Ingadu. That is cute. Is that a little sheep at the bottom right? It's a lion. Oh. Right? That's a lion's head and a mane. Okay, yeah, okay, I yeah, see Yeah, it's a mane, right? <laughs> and buttons. And this is Janice L.E. And she is using kind of like a Liberty of Legend 1930s kind of look. It's cute. Pink. And then she's got some batiks. This is Jenny, Jenny Elf block six unsure why the lower right corner is short don't even worry about it it'll be all fine <laughs> and then this is judy beluskio ward and she can hardly wait till how the finished quilt will look so she has got uh block five and block six in there i think and then Ju this is more by julie taylor and julie wallace And Kristen McCuller, now she is using Lori Holt fabrics. Oh. And so that's super cute. That is like um, farm, I think that's farm girl fall. That's some older stuff. I love it. And then oh. this is really cute. This is Kristen, Kristen Thomas PDX, still plugging away on my Essex linen quilt. Can that I just say Denise cute. went ooh behind the scenes here? Yeah. Denise, you need to make it. And then you can see her, her previous blocks underneath. It's pretty. And then Lisa Morrison. She's got some purples. I think that is Maywood fabric. And then Lori SU 2018. So cute. Back to the beginning. Also, Mary Stewart uh, was commenting in the oh. chat here, and she said this is a uh, tulip pink Zuma fabric. What? Oh. Yeah, it's from like the, the ocean. I know. Company. I totally didn't even recognize that. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. And then I have eight carat quilt. And so eight carat, again, guys, is the is the triangles on a roll book and the sew along we're doing with it. And this is using the All Hallows Eve collection. This is Amy Lynn. Uh, All Hallows Eve is going to be reprinted. That is the number one question we are getting. It will be reprinted and it is supposed to ship in May. And um, that's all I know about it yet. Um, when our sales rep comes and shows us more, we will have it on our pre-sale page. And Life So Crazy, that is cute. And we have got Donna Ferguson. And I love how all her stripes are going different ways because it makes it look, makes it look good. And then this is Elaine Wilson. So, oh my gosh, hers is all green. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty. And then Ingrid, the quilting owl. Okay, I think that might be, um, let's see what she says. Reproduction fabrics. She doesn't say what fabric it is, but it looks pretty. Mm -hmm. And then Mary Kub Kubasek. Oh, that's Ruby Star, isn't it? I don't know, I'm trying to, I don't know. Maybe she'll comment. It looks like tulip pink. It's tulip pink. Is it tulip pink? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this is Rebecca Silveria. 
or Silvera. She's got two going. And then Abroad, Abroad UK. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty. That's funny. Abroad, Abroad. It It is. That's what it says, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, I was like, hilarious. am I crazy? Well, she's Abroad. That's Abroad. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I would never get it. I would have never got that. I, know. I wouldn't get it if I wasn't, like, reading it and seeing the spaces. Okay. So. Yay. Okay. Those are our shout outs. So guys, ask me any questions and make sure to you bid on the auction. Okay. Um, Tracy Duffy says, any tips on free motion quilting for a beginner? So we are filming um, in our beginner series. Gina Tell is going to be filming um, some tips on that. I do not free motion quilt. So I can't give you any tips because I am not good at it. Um, but we are gonna have some videos on that. And we do have some videos. Layla Boutique has done a video for us on that. So you could look on our channel for some other videos. Okay. Um, Wilma Evans uh, asking about Kevin, when you were talking about him, she said, is he quiet with his children? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he talks to me and his children, and I think that's it. Um, even his parents, he's really quiet around, and his sisters. He's just super, like, quiet. Um, He's super involved. Like, he is super, super dad, I'll tell you that. And Margaret Bergen says, is there triangle paper for the size half square triangle for the Moda Love pattern? I think they're nine and a half finished. No. You could do it in any size, though. You could convert it and do it in any size you wanted. Okay, and then... Seven is the biggest size we have. Okay. The largest size we have. Lisa Reiser says, Kimberly, are you caught up with Lori Holt's vintage block series? I am loving it. I am only have two blocks to go. So that's a good reminder. Maybe I could fit those two in this weekend between my taxi rides. But yes, I am not, I'm almost caught up though. And that was, I forgot to say in that picture that I showed, that is her vintage block along that was on her design wall. That's a design wall. And so she's kind of laying it out and then she's just filling in the, the um, little missing pieces so she can tell us how to put it together. But I'm almost caught up. And then, okay. Tracy Duffy says, when sewing your items, how do you determine your time? Do you have an app you like to use, like a time clock, or do you write it down? I don't. It's all in my head. Whoa. Um, I just kind of think about it when I'm driving home, like, because my kids have so many things. Like, Emma has to be at dance between the time I get off work Friday and Monday three times. Uh, my boys have basketball, and there's baseball two or three times, and then there is a birthday party somewhere. So um, I just kind of figure out, okay, I need to do this and this, and then I just go as fast as I can. And Karen Jackson says, have you tried Mary Ellen's Best Press? Yes. I don't use it. It's not strong. <laughs> it's not. A lot of people love it. Lori likes it. It is too light for me. I mm -hmm. like stiff. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to talk bad about anybody's product. Yeah, I like it. I like how it smells. Um, Gwen Smith says, well, the Fat Quarter Shop pineapple papers work on the Coriolder book cover quilt. They're not the same size, but you could, you know, you could do the same design and just change it around, but it will not work for the sew along because it's just not the right size. Um, okay, and then Sewing Becca says, do you have any idea when Sherry's Fat Quarter fabric is going to be here? I see yardage, but no pre-cuts yet. Sew along starts soon. Any day. Any day. We're just waiting for Moda to ship it. Okay. Um, and then Becky Monk says, oh, she was asking about some decorative binders she asked about a couple months ago, I guess. I guess it was like a, a product request. We will look into it, Becky. Uh, I guess she would probably need to email us. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, okay. And then Sherry Gingham says, is the Festival of Quilts an annual event or just for the Riley Blake Designs 10 year anniversary? So they started it as their 10 year anniversary and they are going to do it once a year now going forward so that other people can come. I'm sure that it will get much bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a beautiful garden and um, they have like in the front, they have rooms where you can sew. There's gardens, there's a little cafe. There's two museums, I didn't go to them, but I think they're to the side, but it's a beautiful venue. So they said they're gonna, I mean, this is all from them. Um, so yeah, they said they're gonna do it again. Okay, Sarah D. Shazer says, is Kimberly still doing the Harry Potter blocks? Oh, I'm supposed to be. That's, <laughs> I'm like, 
yeah, I'm supposed to be. I'll finish it. It's kind of like one of those things where I'll, th I just don't love it. I don't like, I don't really love working with solids and I don't, I don't understand Harry Potter. I have, I don't want to say I have no interest, but I don't, I don't, I don't watch any kind of movies though. This has nothing to do with Harry Potter. If it's not <laughs> reality or documentary or autobiography, I'm not watching it. I have, I just cannot follow along. I can't sit still long enough. Um, so I'm just kind of like not interested in it, but I'll, I will finish it. Like it will get done one day. Um, and then we had a few people asking, what is a super chat and what is a channel member? Okay, so a channel member is, um, some YouTube channels can offer it and we, um, you can, you pay a certain amount each month. Mm -hmm. And is it, what is it? Ours is $4.99 a month, but Four. other YouTube channels vary. Okay, so we just do $4.99 a month. And with that, we give coupons. Um, we've done a couple of behind the scenes videos. We probably need to do one of those again. Yeah. We kind of, whatever people request, we we can't do everything yeah. but I mean you know we kind of just do little things but like you don't have to pay you don't have to be a member we have so many people that are angry that we have members but you know we use that money that money goes to all this equipment like there's equipment everywhere all over here yeah. um, so we use the money just for our video channel to make our video channel better mm -hmm. and super chats is kind of like a new thing um, a lot of channels do it you can just like it's like the little microphone on the bottom and you can like click it or it's a little icon on the bottom. It's like the dollar sign. Yeah, and then you just like, um, you can just like give a little chat and then some YouTube channels have it where if you give a super chat, the voice will just go off, like whatever they type it says. Obviously we can't do that because what if it's not like appropriate? I mean, it probably would be, but you just never know. Um, but so different, it's a way for channels to make more money, to, um, you know, go towards their content. They're just like things that YouTube does. Yeah, I, I call it um, the virtual tip jar. It's like yeah. you guys telling us, I love what you're doing and I want to support you. Um, kind of like Patreon, if you guys ever do Patreon for yeah. other things. Um, but it really does allow us to like make our live streams awesome. And um, like the latest upgrade we got was being able to like pop up um, like pictures that you're seeing so Kimberly can just like talk about the picture that we're showing versus having to like print it or something like Cause that. Cause you have to like pay a software, like all, there's all kinds of software that, yeah. that like um, Lily uses and then like having the piggy drawn up, like all that stuff costs money. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, it all like has to go somewhere. Yeah. And so, um, like I said, just a way to support us and not necessary at all. Um, we love you guys regardless, but do subscribe. That's free. Yeah. Yeah. That. <laughs> Okay, and then dot dot goose design says, do you have the square blocks and square block rulers and fabric in stock? This was when you were talking about, yes, uh, yes thank you. Yeah, we have all of this in stock. So this will be shipping on Monday. We have lots of these and lots of these. We have all three. So I, I've made sure, so Lori did this as a class and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it's totally different than what I thought it was. For some reason, I thought it was put together different. And so when she was doing it, I was like, wait a minute, I need to show this. So I asked her permission and said, can I show this on my live stream? And she was like, sure. And then she made sure that I got my um, table runner and um, I'm gonna mail it back. I'm gonna mail it back to her next week. She's camping. So like if y'all are emailing Lori, cause I've got some people emailing me saying she hasn't emailed back, she is camping. So she will be back in a week. And um, you guys, uh, there is a there is a book, there is a quilt in Farm Girl Vintage too that you guys are dying to have a flat shot of. I am working on it. The only picture that we have is styled and cuts a little bit of it off. Lori said when she gets back from camping, she's going to have her husband help her take a picture, but she will not be back for like a week. So when 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 she comes back, she will do it. I promise. And. Teresa says, just wanted to say that although I miss Kimberly, Elva, and Skylar were awesome. So yes, we gave them. them. Yes, they were good. Kevin was like so amazed that Skylar got on there. He told him, he said, you're a brave, brave man. Oh, and actually, um, sorry, just on the subject, I need to pull up the email. Skylar uh, remedied his like, his people wanted him to sew along with the beginner quilts. He said, if we raise a certain amount of money for Make-A-Wish, then he'll sew along with us. Oh. I'm trying to find what the number oh he said if we raise two thousand dollars towards the make-a-wish goal i'll start sewing along with the beginner series okay is what he said so okay. we're gonna hold him to that um <laughs> you're gonna go down there <laughs> i'm gonna be like hey skylar remember that knock, knock, knock. um okay sue cleek said uh i think i saw log cabin foundation paper yep brand new is it in stock? Mm -hmm. We'll show it next week. Yeah, we should have shown it. Um, yes, brand new, and I'm going to be doing something really cool with that in 2020. Yay. I don't want to give it away yet because I don't want anybody. Um, but yes, it's going to be 
Yes. Okay. And then Nancy Anderson uh, says, when I sew on paper, including triangles on a roll, I have skipped stitches and broken thread. This only happens when I use paper. I use a size 90 needle, but still had trouble. Okay. Should I yeah. use 80? And if that doesn't work, use a top stitch needle oh. because they are sharper. Okay. Top stitch 80. I actually stitch with an 80 all the time. Oh. 90 is a little too, I don't know, it's just too thick or something. Okay, and then Kay Sander Ford says, where was the cabinet behind Kimberly purchased? It is by Joanna Gaines, and we purchased it at Furniture Row in Austin, Texas, and... Um, it's a Magnolia Home brand. Okay, yep. I like it, and I wanted it in my house, but it just, there's nowhere in my house for it to go, so I was like, well, I'll just buy it for work. So, yeah, we went in our set <laughs> instead. Yeah. So I get to look at it at work and dream that it's in my house. <laughs> I don't have anywhere for it to go. And, I don't, yeah, we're very minimalists. Yeah. Um, okay. And Sally... Basilier says, what size ruler was that? I believe she was referring to the one, yep, that Eight one. and a half. Okay. And, and it is skew, I'm gonna tell you this, STTI-5529. Mm -hmm. And so there, we have a big shipment coming Monday. So on the website, it says shipping on this day. So it will be there, ship Monday. Faith Moore says, what size triangle paper would I use with a charm pack square? Okay, on that one, uh, we're gonna answer. Um, they asked me that right before we went live, and I don't, I didn't have time to like figure that out. So Kate is going to come up with an answer for that, and we'll put it in Kimberly Stitch Squad, and she can answer below and all that. But yes, right before I went on live, I was like, oh yeah, I can't. I don't think I can do that that fast. Okay, so we will get that answer for you. Okay, and then um, last question here to wrap up the live stream. Uh, but first, I want to preface it with. Uh, if you guys have any questions I did not get to um, during this live stream, I might have just missed it because we had quite a few coming in. Um, if you want us to answer it, wait about 10 minutes after the live stream, uh, post it in the comments below and we will answer it. We answer every single comment that is posted below all our videos. Um, so last question, uh, spooky box question mark. It's coming out, I don't even know the day, but there are a very limited amount. So when, when it goes online, purchase it before it sells out. That's my advice. Woo. But I don't, I honestly don't, I know there's a plan. I don't know it. I know it's cute. I've seen it. Um, but I don't know anything other than that. I don't know the day. I honestly don't know. Um, they probably don't tell me on purpose, but yes. There is a person that that's all, that's her entire job is to do those boxes. The so Sampler, the Spooky Box, the Holiday Box, the Everything Box. Um, and so she just kind of runs it on her own. She doesn't really need me anymore. It's so sad. Um, but yeah, I, but there is one. Um, I am afraid of the complaints we're going to get when we sell out. But sometimes on hollow, sometimes on fa on fabric that's like holiday, it's hard to get enough. So. Okay. And we did actually just have a question come in that I'm going to ask. Uh, it was sewing Becca saying, did you get your Hobby Lobby cabinet put together? I did. So um, it did. It, okay. So I got a lot of questions on this last night. It came in a box and it was all put together. And I oh. carried that box, me and Peyton carried it, put it in my room, undid the box, put it up, put it all together before Kevin came home. <laughs> and so um, I'm organizing all that will fit is my DMC in the first six. So I'm not going to be able to put anything else in there. And um, I am putting all my floss in there and then I'm putting my cross stitch below and then I'm pulling all my cross stitch out of my quilting closet. I'm gonna make that just my quilting closet. I'm gonna reorganize it this weekend. Emma's gonna help me because she loves to do that kind of stuff. And then I took some old kits that I'm never gonna make and put them on eBay on mm -hmm. um, like a different eBay. It's just like a fact, I think the quilt is on Fat Quarter Shop one and then I've just put some personal stuff um, just to try to I don't know, I'll just use the money for my kids' sports or whatever, but um, just some stuff that I had bought a long time ago. I'm just going to clear out some stuff because it's getting too crowded and I have a bunch of stuff on the floor. So I'm just trying to get organized, but yes, it came and it was already assembled and I'm super excited about my third organization. I'm going to talk about it on next week's live stream on Floss Tube. So if you want to see it, the cabinet, that's where I'm going to talk about it because it is cross stitch related and, um, but it's cute and I, I really like where it went and I'm, it's cute. Emma thinks I'm nuts. She's like, you have lost your mind. I'm like, she's like, all this floss, it's like 50 cents. Why? I'm like, Emma, just let me do my thing. <laughs> 
Um, also, uh, one last tip from Kate here on the Spooky Box. Uh, if you sign up for our newsletter, you will be the first to find out when it is here. There you go. Sign up for our newsletter, newsletter. subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will be back next week with another, t another tutorial. Have a great weekend, guys. Yay. Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.